Hi, kumusta? Buti naman at napadalaw kang muli rito sa iMathUPD channel. Tara, sabay tayong mag-aral ng Mathematics 23. Ako si Sir Prince at ako muna ang kasama mo sa ngayon habang ikaw ay nagsasagot ng ilan pang exercises on the applications of double integrals. And this is part 1 of 3. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, ilang mga study tips lamang muna. You can always pause the video if you want to try answering a problem on your own. You can rewind the video if you want to repeat certain portions of this discussion. Siyempre, pwede kayong mag-inquire at mag-consult sa inyong discussion teacher during discussion classes. Okay din na mag-note down ng mga tips and strategies na makukuha ninyo habang kayo ay nag-aaral. If you have something to say, just comment it and then, siyempre, enjoy learning mathematics. Okay? So now, for the first set of exercises, ang titingnan nating application ng double integrals ay sa pagkuha ng mass and center of mass of a lamina. Okay? So our goal is to answer the following problems. Set up iterated double integrals giving the mass and center of mass of the lamina occupying the region bounded by the following. So kailangan natin mag-recall, paano ba ma-set up yung mass and center of mass of the lamina? Suppose we are given with the lamina in the shape of a region R and density function f of x, y. For the mass of the lamina, you just need to, to find the double integral of the density function, so yun yung f of x, y dito, over the region R, okay? Pero kapag naman center of mass, what you do is multiply the density function by x, okay, naman by y kapag tinitingnan mo yung x coordinate or y coordinate respectively. So again, kapag x coordinate, multiply the density function by x, kapag y coordinate, you multiply the density function by y, then yun yung nasa loob ng double integral, tapos huwag kalimutang mag-divide by the mass, okay? Now, for the first exercise, lamina in the shape of the region bounded by x equals 2 square root of y, x equals 0, and y equals 1. Ito, y-axis lang yan, itong y equals 1 ay line lamang. Ito naman, si x ay isang square root, fun square root function of y. Kung marunong ka nang mag-sketch ng square root function, then okay. Pero kung nalilito pa, pwede natin gamitin yung observation na kapag Kinuha natin yung squares ng both sides. We get x squared equals 4y. So we have y equals x squared over 4. Kaya ito talaga a portion lang ng y equals x squared over 4 na isang parabola. So siya lang yung portion kung saan si x ay non-negative kasi 2 is positive and square root is non-negative. Okay ba yun? Okay. So graphing these curves, we get the following region. Now, Unahin na natin yung mass. Ano yung double integral giving the mass? Again, we need the double integral of the density function over the region R. So we need this one. Pero si delta of xy being the density function, siya yung x cubed sine of pi y cubed. Ngayon ang problem pa, ano yung kailangan natin ilagay sa limits of integration? So balik tayo sa ating region. Ang region natin kung papansinin, bounded siya sa left ng x equals 0. At sa right naman ng x equals 2 square root of y. So again, x equals 0 and x equals 2 square root of y. So mga expression giving x. Kaya ang ating inner integral maganda na going with respect to x. So we have bounds here 0 and 2 square root of y. Then again, dx. Tapos yung outer integral natin ay with respect to y naman. Ano ba yung values ng y dito? We have from 0 up to 1. Okay? So we have 0 to 1. And so, ito naman ay with respect to y, so we have there dy. At ayan na ang ating final answer for our mass kasi set up lang naman daw yung kailangan sa problem. Okay? For the center naman, we need a point. So center of mass given by x bar, y bar. Sige nga, pwede bang pakisulat sa inyong mga papel at pakihanap naman kung ano yung x and y coordinates ng ating center of mass. So click pause muna. Okay, tutuloy ko na yung gusto kong sabihin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, for the x bar again, start with the density function and then same region lang naman. We need to multiply this by x kasi x coordinate yung kailangan mo. So times x. And then do not forget to divide the double integral by m. For y bar naman, we have 
to start again sa density function, pero kailangan mo siyang i-multiply by y kasi nga y coordinate yung kailangan. Then same region lang din, tapos divide by m. Simplifying the integrand, we have x to the 4 dito, sine pi y cube. Dito naman ay x cube y sine of pi y cube na lamang. Okay? So set up lang. So we have our final answers. Ito na yun, this double integral and then this point where x is this one and y bar is this one. Okay? You can verify that the mass is equal to 8 over 3 pi units. So ito kaya siyang masolve manually. Sige, tara na sa ikalawang example. For the second example and second exercise, we have a lamina in the shape of the region bounded by y equals square root of 9 minus x squared and y equals absolute value of x. Ito, ang graph niyan ay semicircle. Kalahati lang circle na x squared plus y squared equals 9. Ito naman, ang graph niyan ay absolute value function. So, yung pa-v na may vertex sa origin. Graphing and then looking for the region, we have the following. So ito yung galing sa semicircle and then ito naman yung galing sa absolute value function. Ngayon, magsasetup na ulit tayo ng double integral. Pansinin natin ang ating region. Sa region natin, ang kanyang left boundary and right boundary ay parehas na slanted lines passing through the origin. Tapos ang upper boundary naman ng ating region ay portion ng circle. Sa pangpansinin natin ay may density function tayo na x squared plus y squared. Yung mga expression na yan, nakita na natin siya madalas nung pinag-aaralan natin ang double integrals in polar coordinates. So dahil doon, mas mainam siguro na mag-set up na lang tayo in polar coordinates. Okay? Para mas madali. Pero take note na okay lang din naman yung rectangular coordinates. Pero syempre, kailangan mo i-analyze mabuti yung problem para malaman mo kung ano yung bounds natin or yung limits of integration. Okay? Now, my goal nga is to, our goal is to set up in polar form. So, express natin tong circle, itong line, itong line na to, in polar equation. Itong x squared plus y squared equals 9 dahil centered yan at the origin. It has polar equation r equals the radius. So, r is, r is equal to the square root of 9. So, r is equal to 3. Ngayon, ito naman ay galing sa y equals absolute value of x. Pero kasi si y equals absolute value of x defined siya piecewise by two functions. Yung isang function ay yung function defined by the equation y equals x. Yung isa naman ay y equals negative x. Okay? So ito yung y equals x. Ito yung y equals negative x. Kapag y equals x, alam na natin na in polar equation, yun ay theta equals pi over 4. Ayan. Pero kapag naman y equals negative x, nandito naman yun, ang theta naman dito ngayon ay 3 pi over 4. So now we are ready to set up our mass. Again, our mass is the double integral of the density function over the region. So dito, double integral siya ng x squared plus y squared. Tapos ngayon, magkoconvert tayo to polar form. So si x squared plus y squared ay magiging r squared. Si dA naman ay r d r d theta. And then r natin ay from 0 hanggang sa 3. Ang theta natin ay mula pi over 4 hanggang 3 pi over 4. Hence, we have the following setup for the double integral in polar coordinates giving the mass of our lamina. So r squared and then r d r d theta. Then from 0 to 3 ang r. From pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4 ang theta. And ito, r cube lang yan. So, ang ating final answer na lang, since setup lang naman daw, we have the double integral of r cube, r running from 0 to 3, theta from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. Okay, kayo naman. Pwede bang pakihanap ang center of mass natin? Please pause the video and try answering the problem. So, look for the center of mass. Okay, sige. I-reveal ko na in 5... 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, kapag x coordinate, multiply the density function by x, then wag kalimutan yung pag-divide sa m. Kapag y coordinate, multiply naman by y, wag kalimutan yung pag-divide sa m. Okay? Then now we convert to polar form. 
Ang conversion formulas natin ay tatlo. X equals R cosine theta, Y equals R sine theta, and X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. So we just replace X, Y, and X squared plus Y squared by R cosine theta, R sine theta, and R squared respectively. Tapos si DA naman ang pamalit dyan ay R, DR, D theta. To get the following double integrals. And simplifying, we have R squared times R times R. Yun ay R to the fourth na lamang. Ganito rin sa pangalawa. Hence, we have the following. So, ayan na yun. Set up lang naman kaya this double integrals are our final answer. Okay? But if you want to continue with the integration, you can verify that the mass is equal to the value of this double integral and pwede nyo compute by hand na yan ay equal lang talaga sa 81 pi over 8. Tapos, yung ating center naman ay may x-coordinate, so ito yun, na equal sa 0, at may y-coordinate, ito naman yun, na equal sa 24 square root of 2 divided by 5 pi. Okay? So, pwede nyo i-verify yan. And, ayun na. Nasagutan na, nasagutan na natin yung dalawang exercises on lamina using double integrals. Mamaya, sa next part, ang gagawin naman natin ay application ng double integral sa pagkuha ng surface area. Okay? So, sige. Takits sa part 2. See you!